Hey folks, this is the core your resident entertainment techie. Hope everyone is doing well. I have a new emulation update for you and it comes from a favorite emulator of mine, Final Burn Neo. The latest nightly build released for the emulator now supports the Super Nintendo hardware. If you've been following this emulator, then you know that's a pretty big deal as Final Burn Neo already has support for other popular 16-bit consoles. This was pretty much the only one missing and now it's finally available. Now, if you're like me, you were probably looking for a stable build like I once did. Well, Final Burn Neo has not had a stable release since 2021. So you'll only find these changes on the nightly build, something that is constantly being updated. I'll of course leave a link to this in the comment section below. Initially, I did have some trouble getting games to run. Final Burn Neo has specific naming conventions for their ROM sets, and so your original ROM sets may not work out of the box. After trying to do this manually, something I recommend that you don't do, I went to the Discord community for help and someone recommended I use ROM Vault. I've never used this application before, but after trying it out, it definitely is going to be something I go to in the future. Renaming the ROMs was pretty simple. You have to get the DAT file from the Final Burn Neo, which is in the miscellaneous menu under Generate Files. From there, I recommend following the YouTube tutorial provided on the ROM Vault website. I personally used the two sort method, which was a lot faster. I did test a few games and things are running great so far. Don't ask about accuracy because I'm definitely the last person to spot these things. The only strange thing that stood out to me was the aspect ratio. This may be a bug, but I wasn't getting the normal 4-3 aspect ratio even after trying to change it in settings. There have been more releases since this build, so I'll definitely check to see if that was an issue. Obviously, Final Burn Neo isn't the only emulator that supports the SNES console, but this emulator has been my go-to for certain hardware as they just offered more features such as run ahead and resolution scaling. I definitely look forward to seeing them reach more milestones in the future. Well, that's it for this emulation update. If you enjoyed this latest news, please be sure to give the video a like. Also consider subscribing as I will be bringing you more updates in the future. For now, this is Decor, your entertainment techie, signing out.